Hello, it's Kyle with a video counting down the 10 least interesting states to visit while on a road trip. And this isn't designed to be some kind of flaming attack on these states. I'm not trying to pee on their campfire. There is a practical use to this video, and that's if you're on a road trip, you can't see it all. The country's just too big. So if you're going to be gone for, say, two or three weeks, you have to make cuts somewhere. I've been on more than 20 cross-country road trips. I've learned a lot about what are the best places to visit. And so in this video, I want to count down the 10 least interesting states to visit. Before I start, I'd like to say that I did not include for consideration the micro states of Rhode Island and Delaware. They're just too small. It wouldn't be fair to compare them to the others from a road trip perspective. You sneeze when you're going through it. By the time your eyes open, you're into the next state. So I didn't include those for this list. But without further ado, let's get to the countdown. At number 10 is Illinois. And Illinois is a state that has two very different sides of the coin. You've got Chicago and then the rest of the state. And I do think that Chicago is a great place to visit, and I highly recommend stopping there on your road trip. There's just so much stuff to see and do there. You'll have a great time, especially if you're interested in visiting big cities. And I know that it's been in the, in the news a lot lately because all of the high crime and shootings going on in the city, but unless you're going down to the ghetto to buy drugs or you're hanging out with gang members, you're no more likely to be a victim of crime in Chicago than anywhere else in the U.S. So don't not visit there because of some of the stuff you see on the news, but... Other than Chicago, there really isn't any other must-see or must-stop-at attraction in the state. You do have some pretty interesting sites in Illinois. You've got the Abraham Lincoln Museum and Presidential Library in Springfield. You have the John Deere World Headquarters. You can take the factory tours there. And they got the Visitor Center in Moline. And in Peoria, you have the Caterpillar Headquarters. You can take factory tours there, too. And, you know, overall, Peoria is a, you know, a nicer town than you might expect, but... You know, Illinois as a state is just not as terribly interesting as others. So, you know, other than Chicago, there really is no other, you know, required stop for a road trip. So that's why I have Illinois ranked at number 10. At number nine is North Dakota. And North Dakota is a lot like Illinois in that I think there's one really great attraction to see, but the rest of the state just really isn't that terribly interesting. Theodore Roosevelt National Park in the western part of the state is wonderful. I love visiting there. It's one of my favorite national parks in the country, but that really is about the only spot worth seeing in North Dakota. The largest city, Fargo, the college town, Grand Forks, and the capital, Bismarck, are just kind of boring and not worth going out of your way to visit. So unless you're specifically interested in visiting Theodore Roosevelt National Park, I can't really recommend going that far out of the way to include North Dakota on your road trip. You're not likely to be including I-94 as part of your road trip. So it's just it's just really far out of the way. If you want to do kind of an outdoors oriented trip where you're visiting mostly national parks, and you want to incorporate the Dakotas in that trip. I do have a video on that. You might want to check out about you know road tripping in that part of the country. But other than that, I can't really recommend going that far out of the way to visit North Dakota. It's just not that terribly interesting. And that's why I have it ranked at number nine. At number eight is Indiana. And Indiana does have a few decent sites, but nowhere that would be required to make your road trip the best it can possibly be. Indianapolis is an okay city. There's nothing terribly wrong with it, but it's also kind of bland for a big city. So unless you're specifically interested in visiting the Motor Speedway and the Auto Racing Hall of Fame, which you know, it's a pretty cool attraction, but it's also a niche attraction. So if you're not interested in that, and I really can't recommend stopping in Indianapolis, the medium-sized cities of South Bend and Fort Wayne and Evansville are also pretty bland and not worth stopping at. There are a couple of decent natural sites in the state. You've got the Indiana Dunes area in the northwestern corner and the Hoosier National Forest in the southern part of the state. But again, neither one of these are required to make your road trip the best it can possibly be. So Indiana overall as a state is pretty boring. So that's why I have it ranked at number eight. At number seven is Alabama. And there's nothing terribly wrong with the state as a whole, but the recurring theme of this list is that, you know, there are going to be a few decent things to see in each state, but nowhere that would be required to make your road trip complete. The biggest city is Birmingham, and my wife and I actually like going down to Birmingham every now and then, but we also only live two hours from there, so it isn't that big of a deal for us to visit. But if you're on a cross-country road trip, I can't recommend stopping there. The coastal city of Mobile is kind of cool. You know, it's a historic southern city along the Gulf, but... There are better historic southern cities to see like Charleston or Savannah. So I can't really recommend stopping in Mobile. And you got Montgomery. Just, just skip it. Huntsville is kind of okay. You got the 
you know, the NASA Rocket Center and the Space Camp is there. So if you're interested in NASA kind of stuff, it can be pretty cool. But, you know, there are some decent state parks and natural areas in the northern part of the state as well. But overall, Alabama, not that terribly interesting. So that's why I have it ranked number seven. Coming in at number six is Oklahoma. And with Oklahoma being right in the middle of the country, there's a pretty good chance you're going to be driving right through it on your road trip. But there really isn't anywhere that is a must-see, no standout attraction where you just have to stop at on your road trip. I've been to Oklahoma many times. I often end up stopping there on my own road trips. It's about a perfect day's drive from where I live, so I often stay in a motel in Oklahoma City. Or if the weather's nice, I'll be camping at Lake Eufaula State Park about an hour east. It's a really nice state park, but it certainly isn't somewhere you have to stop on your road trip. Um, Oklahoma City is surprisingly a pretty boring city for you know how big it is. The downtown's okay, the Bricktown historic area is okay, but there just really isn't a whole lot to see there. Uh, you may be interested in seeing the memorial to the terrorist attack there, but that really isn't a tourist attraction. But it might be something you you know you're curious about seeing and paying your respects to. Um, Tulsa might be the single most boring city in the country between 500,000 and a million people. It's, it's just a pretty boring place. Not much to do there unless you're interested in seeing the crazy architecture on the campus of Oral Roberts University, and there's some pretty crazy stuff there, but there really isn't much reason to go to Tulsa. There are some nice wilderness areas in the southeastern part of the state, but with so many nice wilderness areas in other parts of the country, I really can't recommend going out of your way to see those in Oklahoma. So overall, Oklahoma, Pretty boring state, not that terribly interesting. That's why I have it ranked at number six. At number five is Nebraska. And Nebraska is a huge state. If you're driving across it along I-80, you swear you're never going to leave the state. It just goes on forever. It's a really long drive, and it's boring the entire way. But actually, I do personally really like the northwestern corner of the state. It's really beautiful. Some of my favorite scenery in the entire country, but it is really far out of the way. And I definitely do not recommend going that far out of the way just to see it. It'll be pretty boring for most people. And I also do like Omaha. It's a pretty cool city. There's a nice downtown historic area, nice riverfront area. There's a pretty cool pedestrian bridge that goes across the Missouri River into Iowa. And you have a world-class zoo there as well. But with Omaha really being the only place we're stopping it in this entire huge state, the overall state of Nebraska ends up being pretty uninteresting. That's why I have it ranked at number five. At number four is West Virginia. And there's really nothing in the state that is super interesting and would be required to see to make your road trip the best it can possibly be. It's just kind of a dull, bland state. About the only reason you'd really even be remotely interested in visiting the state is just to see how bad it can possibly get. It's kind of like the, the rural version of Detroit. I know some folks like to visit Detroit just to see how bad a city can be. And I know the folks that live there hate that other people do that, but it is kind of interesting in that regard. But West Virginia is kind of like the country version of that. Just kind of like how bad can it possibly get in this country? It's the closest thing we have to the third world in the U.S. And it's just kind of sad, really. When you first drive through it, some of these small towns, you kind of start to laugh a little bit. But then after a while, it's like, whoa, this is really bad. And it's just kind of depressing, really. So... From a road trip perspective, I can't really recommend stopping there. You know, Charleston's an okay city. It's kind of a, you know, it's kind of bland for a capital city. Um, and the other town in the state are just like, whoa, this is really, really bad. So I really can't recommend stopping in West Virginia. It's just not that terribly interesting of a state. That's why I have it ranked at number four. Coming in at number three is Mississippi. And in my opinion, Mississippi is the least interesting state in the South. All the other southern states either have some nice mountains and national parks or state parks or they have some nice beaches or big cities or something that's of interest to the road tripper, but Mississippi really has none of that. There are a couple of interesting historic sites like Vicksburg has some Civil War history there and some you know historic houses and stuff and Natchez, but there really isn't much of interest in Mississippi. You know, the casino towns of Tunica and Biloxi, why? Why? And Jackson might be the, the nastiest capital city in America. There just really isn't much to offer for Mississippi. So just go ahead and plow right through it. It's not like you're going to get back home and tell your friends you didn't stop in Mississippi. And they'll be like, what? What's wrong with you? Why didn't you stop there? So Mississippi's pretty lame. Not that interesting. That's why I have it ranked at number three. At number two is Iowa. And Iowa is a perfectly fine state. The people there are nice and friendly, but, you know, it's also a really boring state. It'll take you a long time to drive across it along I-80. It's huge, and it's also just, just such a boring drive. Bring plenty of Mountain Dew with you. You're going to be going through a lot of it. There just really isn't much to see there. 
And I'm not sure what the top tourist attraction in the state is, but whatever it is, you can skip it. It's not that terribly interesting. You know, Des Moines is actually larger and more cosmopolitan than you might expect, but it, it's not somewhere you have to stop. You're not going to shoot yourself in the foot for skipping it. And I'm not trying to put Iowa down. I'm sure a lot of people in Iowa are proud of the fact that it's boring and proud of the fact that people just drive right through it and don't stop. But as far as road tripping goes, it is a pretty lame state. It's pretty boring. Go ahead and drive right through Iowa. It's the second least interesting state in the country. And at number one, the least interesting state to visit on a road trip is Kansas. I just can't think of anything in Kansas that is worth visiting for the road tripper. It's just an incredibly boring state. And when you combine that with the fact that it is an enormous state too, it is huge. It'll take you forever to drive across it. And that just makes it even worse. And you might think about say Dodge City, the old west town, but it's so far off the interstate and by no means is it worth going that far out of the way to visit. In fact, I discourage going that far out of the way to visit. It's just kind of lame. And there are better places to see Old West history if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Um, the biggest city is Wichita, which is just not interesting at all. I mean, why would you be going to Wichita? It's not that terribly exciting. And the whole state is just pretty boring. And I mean, no offense to Kansas or the people there. It's just your state is really boring and there's really nothing to offer for the road trip or so. That's why I have Kansas ranked as the least interesting state to stop at on your road trip. And there you have it, the 10 least interesting states to visit on a road trip. And of course, these are just my opinion, but I have been on more than 20 cross-country road trips. I've seen all the big cities, a bunch of small towns. I've been on all the interstates, a bunch of funky back roads. And these are just the states that offer the least to the road tripper. And like I was saying at the beginning of the video, I'm not trying to rip on these states, but when you're on a road trip, you have a limited amount of time and you can't see it all. And if you... Uh, stop to see places in these 10 states that means that you're not seeing things in other states that are just much more interesting and with the exception of very specific spots like chicago or teddy roosevelt national park i just can't really recommend stopping in these 10 states so again it's just my opinion but these are the most boring states you can visit on a road trip i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up to let me know you approve and if you're interested in stuff like this about road trips and U.S. geography and just some nerdy travel information, then check out my channel. Those are the kind of videos I'm posting. So yeah, thanks for watching. Geography King signing out and I'm about to go collect my bribe money from the folks from New Jersey, not including them on this list.